Welcome back. You're watching uh, The Breakfast Show on Nile TV International, live from Cairo. And it's our pleasure to have with us over the phone Dr. Hassan Wagia, Professor of Political Science. Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Good morning, Dr. Hassan. Good morning. Uh, of course, uh, Egypt witnessed yesterday the commemoration of the Martyrs' Day. And uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi in the uh, celebration and in the symposium sent many messages. Uh, Dr. Hassan Wagi, Professor of Political Science, what uh, are the messages that uh, were for you were of significance in yesterday's uh, celebration? Yes, the most important message is that uh, those uh, families of the martyrs who really uh, paid the lives, the lives of their sons, uh, I think to give them a mention, uh, to give them a care, mm -hmm. uh, to tell them that we are next to you, we are, uh, uh, we are with you, and uh, we did not forget the martyrs. I think this is very important for raising the morale of those people. They paid a lot for the, for the homeland. Of course, Dr. Uh, Hassan, and um, the president also mentioned uh, yesterday um, that the price paid for uh, keeping countries safe and keeping nations safe is, is a precious and very uh, uh, dire uh, price. Uh, he also mentioned that um, uh, keeping or uh, the, 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 the national state he used this term yesterday. The, na the national state itself became, in the area, became weak. How, how do you explain um, um, this statement? Actually, when it comes to talking about uh, the state and uh, the so many, many factors now uh, taking place in the world, so many events in the world, uh, try, try to weaken the national state as an entity. And I think that the national state is extremely important for uh, keeping the country stable and for having the whole people with all their elements are cemented together. Uh, I think this is uh, what, what, uh, what does he mean by uh, the importance of the national state mm -hmm. when he talks about it, because this is in political science, we can uh, talk uh, a lot about it. But uh, I think the intention of the president, when he used that, he wants to send the message that the Egyptian people mm -hmm. being cemented, being together, being, uh, being uh, able to, to face the challenge. He also mentioned the President Abdel Fattah Sisi, the Second Republic, and he actually um, uh, mentioned this when he was talking about the, uh, the inauguration of uh, uh, the new capital uh, um, soon. So um, how do you interpret the, a term like the Second Republic? Actually, the term Second Republic is intended also uh, to speak about the kind of accomplishments. Mm -hmm. uh, there is a transitional uh, period in which he uh, launched many projects uh, and uh, the center of the new capital. So I think uh, by saying the Second Republic, uh, he means uh, he is talking about the accomplishments that uh, really were, were accomplished uh, through the last five years or six years, mm -hmm. and uh, there are mega projects in this. Uh, Dr. Hassan Wagi, Professor of Political uh, Science, thank you very much for joining us on our you breakfast are, show. You are, thank you. You are most welcome. Have a good morning. And thank you. That ends our segment uh, for now. And uh, stay tuned with Night of International and our breakfast show.